Hi, hi everyone! Hi, this is Stevie from High Fly Asia again. Now, uh, kind of change the setting behind, and the most important thing is we have changed the slot. Uh, the day is always the same every Wednesday, and uh, we kind of change the slot to 9 o'clock. Uh, the light may be a little bit of issue, but it's okay. I think we can do Light or without light, I think I still look quite gorgeous, lah, huh? Okay, first thing first, you know why? Right? The importance of sanitizing yourself, yeah? Right? Can you see that here in my hand there is this gift bag? Now this gift bag is by Jocom. So you buy anything uh, like 50 ringgit and above, what you need, you will get this gift bag of sanitizing. Inside here, you will have two things. One thing is this. Now this one is what? This one is the wet tissue. Now it's very good because it's bacterial wet tissue, you can kind of wrap it up and you know, uh, clean up your hands before you eat or wherever you go. Now the next thing is this, this is very portable, like here itself. You can like hang it in your handbag, hang it at the door knob, then you can press it out and then you can get all uh, and get desensitized and clean your hand. It's very important, even my office here at One Mile Kara. Uh, everyone has to, you know, sanitize it a little bit because prevention is always better than cure. So are you guys excited? If you're excited, can you give me a like and uh, comment something? Say hi! Give me a like and also uh, share it with everyone. Uh, we have uh, Darren. Darren is on board. Angie, hi! Kobun Peng, you yeah, are getting excited because today's topic is very, very interesting. We are all talking about what topic we are talking about likability. Now, in this likability itself, it's the most important elements that, uh, that we need in this uh, business or even personal, isn't it, right? Because a lot of times, we need to be likable, then only people start helping us, right? Now, could you all give me a moment, right? Just wait for the rest to come in first and uh, let my team to fix the light a little bit so that uh, I will look a little bit better in this, yeah? Okay, just uh, about one to two minutes. Let, let, let my teams uh, do the lighting process first. Okay, got it. Now yeah, fix the light already. Now let's go. Now, how important is uh, likable in this environment? Now today, as we said, you will learn how Fly High Fly Asia use likability in order to get all the platform, all the network to help you. You know, when I when I was in the airline, I learned a lot about likability. But you know, in the business world, the likability uh, skills that you need is another level because. Um, business skills somehow you need to be a little bit more sensitive because you're you're dealing them on a daily basis while in the airline previously when I was Singapore Airlines I only deal them on one flight so now the difference we are going to talk about it during this one hour of Facebook live now um, you will discover I will share like seven strategies that how to increase your likability I think that's very important my favorite topic really my favorite topic I always say that your business skill is not good that's not important but your people skills, especially people like you, you have a lot of opportunity that goes along the way. Um, you know, like, like a lot of mentors, a lot of my friends always say this, anybody can introduce you good connections. But whether the good connections like you or not, it highly depends on whether you are likable or not. Now, likability, according to Wikipedia, what did they say? In fact, if you type in Wikipedia, there's no answer for likability because this word doesn't exist. Now, why this doesn't work? Basically, this is created by people along the line. They feel that being likable is very important. Sometimes, when you see in Cantonese, yan kin yan oi, te kin te joy. Correct, right? So, likability don't have a defined meaning to it. To me, I feel likability is you appeal to whoever that you are talking to. Not everyone will endorse your likability, but it is your responsibility if you want it to make as many people like you as possible. That is why we call it mainstream, right? Mainstream means 
you need people from all levels of society to support you, to like you. The more people like you, the more people will want to endorse you, to help you. So that is what we are going to discuss in this uh, one hour Facebook Live. So, are you all excited? If you are excited, please remember, Hi Agnes, I was just promoting your joke home. Probably you want to have a link here to share how can people get your free pack. This is the hand sanitizer and also the wipes, okay? Now, if you, if you, if, if you want uh, to support me, please remember to like, comment, and share this Facebook Live. We want to have, have as many people as possible to understand about the importance of likability in business, yeah? Okay, so, I mean, uh, today we are trying very something different because not only I have a Facebook Live, I also have my Instagram Live going on. For the Instagram Live, uh, of course, I would really love if you could actually wave at me and uh, uh, like this posting because I will appreciate that a lot, yeah? Now, in these sessions, we are dividing into two parts. Now, the first part is I'm going to share the theory about likability, how High Fly Asia and me particularly uh, uh, use likability in the business world. On the part two itself, we have a very special guest. And who is this special guest? She's none other than Rari Sasia, and she's from Mars Creations. She's a floor furnishing expert. Now, she's, she will be coming on board now, later, in half an hour time, to talk to me about how she implements likability in her environment, yeah? Now, a lot of people also has a different perspective of a likable. They think that, some people that I talk to, they think that they go to work, they don't need to deal with people. They just want to do their work, they don't want to deal with people, they don't want to uh, make relationships with people, they don't want to try very hard to make people happy or whatever. You know why? Because they define Okay, when you try very hard to make people happy or like you, you are pretending. Now, who is right, who is wrong? For me, I feel, is it pretending or you are not used to it? A lot of things is, when we are not used to it, we will feel that we are very fake. But when we are used to it already, there is a part of us. Now, go back to share a little bit about my story. Now, in the early days, when I joined Singapore Airlines, we need to be very, very courteous. Courteous means what? Everything that we do, like example, if we want to get someone to give way, we must say, please, can you give me a uh, pass through? Or, thank you for helping me. I'm being brought out in a family that please and thank you is non exist in the early days when I joined Singapore Airlines, when I keep on saying, please, thank you, I feel that I'm being fake. After three months, it becomes a part of me. So sometimes being likable is all about making it a part of you. So if you keep on saying that everything that you do, why should you let the other person like you? This is ego talking. So if the ego overriding it, it's very hard for you to learn the meaning of likability. Now, the whole idea is like this. As long as everyone is happy, don't you think that a lot of things are quite smoother? Yeah? Okay, so, two stories I would like to share before I start. One is my airline story. In the early days when I joined the airline, do you know that the junior always get bullied by people? And I was very junior then. Last time I don't dress like that, my curly pop not like that, everything is quite, it's, it's, it's different, you know? So I very fluffy and I, 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 and I enjoy the airline. I tell you, the first one year of flying uh, is horrible. Not only the passenger bully you, the crew bully you, even the ground staff also bully you. I don't understand this. I can then I went to the, say, there must be a reason, I cannot be the one that always get bullied, you know? Then I decided that, Maybe, maybe, there's a solution. And I observe my seniors in the airline each time I fly. I say, is there anything they are doing that is different from me? Because how come they are not being bullied? How come I always get bullied? And, I just, and then I realize there are three characteristics that a lot of senior crew have. That when you have this, right, you quite unlikely will get bullied. Okay, so I'm going to tell you something very shallow, okay? So the three things goes like that. I find out, uh, these people that, has, that don't get bullied, right? They always have a branded wash, right? So, because of the branded wash, I went on to buy my first branded Cartier wash. It's called Santos 100. 
and I still keep it until now because I want to be memorable. But I don't know whether by buying the wash, will I avoid being bullied or not? I'm not sure. So I discovered one is all of them have a branded wash. Number two, all of them, right, the, the flight attendant uniform, right, they own sell go and tailor it uh, to be very fitting. Uh, because the company, when they give you your uniform, right, it's very, it's very white one and you look very, very fat and you're very fluff, very not cat one. So I purposely go and find a tailor to make it more tapered so that it looks like, you know, Hugo Boss cutting, right? Third, right, all their color pop are uh, very nice one. So they all comb their hair, uh, all very sleek one. So I also do that. And I discover something. The moment I practice these three things in the airline, from that day onwards, no one bully me. Is it shallow? Or is it practical? I'm not sure. But the whole idea is, I want people to not pick on me. I want people to like me. So whatever does it takes, I will, I will do it. And that is where I discover the beauty of being likable. Now, being beauty by being likable is a lot of elements you can do in order to make it happen. Just now, there's three ways that I apply for me as a junior in a Singapore airline not to be bullied. Now, move on to another story, which is meeting Datin Winilu seven years ago when I came back. On the day-to-day -day basis, Datin Winilu met a lot, a lot of people. But why seven years ago, when I approached her to mentor me and to be my business partner, she say yes. Is there an element of likable there? Of course. Because with my seven years in the airline, I would have picked out a lot of things about how to be making people like you. So in that way itself, I do I make that part of likability in me so strong that Datin Winilu agree to be my business partner and to mentor me. So what are the things? Number one, humility. I put myself very down to ask for an opportunity of my lifetime for her to support me. Now, most people on the top, they like to see that you are humble. The moment that you are humble, they will want to support you a lot more. Second is you must have fire inside you. Fire means what? the drive to make it in life. A lot of times I don't understand that many people want a lot of opportunity. But when it comes to go and grab an opportunity, they don't show that they do have the drive. Now this drive is like the energy inside you. A lot of successful people, they like to groom people, but they only want to groom the right people. Third thing is, I don't sell her these corroborations with money or power because she has money and power. I sell her based on legacy because the moment she decided to groom me and she able to do that, I promise her that I will do my best to push all this wisdom to as many people as possible, which I'm doing now for the last six years. We have been, in High Fly Asia, we have been grooming a lot of entrepreneurs on how to use personal branding and connection and bring them to the next level. Now, this is a small, short, short story regarding on how I apply, how, how is my life and how I apply it, okay? Now, let us go into the part one. Are you all ready? Now, let us see. Forinda Tay, hi! This is my ex-senior uh, in the airline and she's doing very well in Mary Kay. Uh, and, um, and she said passion. Wow, so I think passion is definitely, that's the key. Just the whole, that's just like from my perspective, Passion also must people know that you have passions. A lot of people have passion, but people cannot tell that you have passions. So being alive or being sure, you can show that you really can see the passion. Your passion, that is very important. It means you have to act your part. We have Mac. Mac is my one of my partner in Bangkok. He's in the house. Uh, Eric, hi. Now Ernie, Ernie is in on the board. And while my Instagram, we have a lot of people there. We have Alex Tan, we have uh, Benny, hi. Okay, so remember this. I will be continuing to share the seven steps. But in the meantime, uh, please help me to like, uh, comment, and share it, right? Forinda, please help me to share it with all the Singapore audience, okay? Now, next time if you're in Malaysia or I'm in Singapore, please, Welcome to be my guest speaker and we can talk about life after airline, yeah? Okay, so now, 
The seven steps goes like that. Number one, I love it. You know, can you see this? This is what? This is Singapore Airlines smile. This smile, right? You know how you train it? Every flight, uh, you have to smile to at least 300 to 500 people. Uh, you are trained to have this Singapore Airlines smile. Now, this smile makes wonder, you know? Because this smile, uh, when you practice, uh, it cannot be any degree, any degree higher or lower is fake smile. It must be sincere smile. Now, if you check out my Instagram, you check out my Facebook, all my pictures are same smile, uh, only the dress is different, right? Because I mastered the art of smiling already. You see, smiling, right, is an art. Because why? If you don't smile, right, a lot of people have this look called bitchy resting face. You know how ugly is bitchy resting face? Right? Bitchy resting face uh, is the way you look at you, uh, is as if like, I owe you one million dollar. Do you really think that you will be likable? No, 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 it's very hard. But smiling is also, you must make it a habit to do that. Of course, I'm not asking you to smile 24 hours a day. But as long as you are meeting another person, you have to put on that smile. If you're alone meeting nobody, please don't smile so often. If not, right, you will fix there. It cannot, cannot, it cannot go away already. So smile is an art. And a lot of people like to see when you're smiling because it's a very positive kind of engaging with the other person. Unfortunately, as we grow older, you know what is happening? We will have the bitchy resting face. Do you know why? Because, right, look at me, if I don't smile, this thing will go down. When you go down, right, you automatically have the bitchy resting face. Right? And most of the time when your resting face is not that welcoming as your smiley face. So in my environment, I highly recommend a lot of people to start practicing the right smile and use it regularly because that is your step one of being likable. Smile, okay? Okay, so next, I want to say is the very important that I really want a lot of people to know is being likable is also about energy. Now, do you like to hang out with low energy people? Never. You never like. And just now when Florinda was saying about passion, fire, all these are energy. You want why people like you. People like you is because they are able to get something out from you. Wisdom is energy. Sharing is energy. Kindness is energy. So when you meet another person, if the other person take away all this from you, they will feel so good. Oh, today I spoke to Steve. I feel so energized. But why is that energy? That energy is your own energy, your wisdom, your sharing, your kindness, all this add up to the other person when they leave you, they remember you vividly. Compared to another person who do not have all this, they lose out on the part. So, a lot of times when you go and present yourself, no need to say present, on your day-to-day -day basis, I always believe, if you want to speak to somebody, speak with 100%. Miss speak 100% with your heart, with your kindness, with your full energy. Because if you don't want to speak, or you don't want to talk, then don't talk because we always give our best in no matter whatever that we do. So we don't judge. Judge means what? As long as, some people is like this, when they meet someone powerful, right? Wow, they're 100% energy. When they meet somebody is not that powerful, uh, they give 20% energy. I think that is not right. Because at any point of time, even though you think nobody is looking at you, a lot of people are observing you at all times. And we will say this, how you do something is how you do everything. So keep it consistent is very important. Now, to, in order not for people to pick on you on the small little thing, now, do 100%. Always give your 100% energy out. Then people ask me, hey, in that case itself, will your, sometimes we are very weak, you know, well, sometimes we're very tired, you know, then we probably will not have that high energy. Now, let me tell you, we have more energy than we know. Simple reason. If you go to gym, right, if you start running cardio, by the time, right, you thought, right, you run half an hour, you want to die, right? But are you going to die? No. You still have a lot of reserve energy left. By right, if you go full force, you can go full force for a few days, you still can be 100%. The issue is, our mind trick ourselves that we are low energy. How are you going to override that? Mind over matters. 
go, if you are going to event or you're meeting people, just gather all the energy from your leg, from your finger, from your head, from every, just wrap it up and give that 100%. Let me tell you, energy is also habit. The, the, high, the more regular you use your 100% energy, you will get used to it. My, I'm, a, I'm a great testimonial on that. When I, in the early days, when I partner with Dutting Window and Trailing, I almost punch it, right? Half day before I even go to the full day. But both of them uh, can go for classes, can go for events, can go for it. They are still high energy. I don't understand why. I'm younger than them. How come my energy is lesser than them? And I discover there is also a trick in that. In order to conserve your energy to level 10, you need to sleep well, you need to eat well, you need to drink well, drink a lot of water. But most important, you know what? You need to hang out with people that is also high energy. Because the moment you hang out with people that are high energy, you discover that it's very, very contagious because you like it. You like it so much, you like to make people feel so energized that it becomes a habitual and your level 10 energy will just come out like that slowly. Okay, so for me, I have to share two points. One is smile, one is energy. If you, if you agree with what I say, please remember to like, comment, and share this Facebook Live because I'm going through the other five. Is it all right? Okay, some. Give me a, uh, you guys already can give me some like. And uh, you know what? You all also can do me a favor by uh, hashtag or maybe add your friends who you think that might be keen, you know, to find out more about uh, this likability. Because this likability, I feel any industry, anybody, anywhere, even your housewife also, you need that much. Okay? Next. Let's do it. Okay, the third part is body language, right? Body language, right? You must be very mindful because if your body language uh, is the something because you don't see yourself in the mirror all the time, right? And most of the time when you're tired, you'll be slouching. Or you are insecure. Sometimes when you're meeting a new people, you know what you'll do? You'll be like that. And all this body language is very negative body language. So in this case itself, please be mindful at all times, if you happen to pass by a mirror or pass by anything, check out whether your body language is showing positivity or not. But most of the time, you probably will not be able to have a mirror in front of you. So what do you do? You will get your partner in crime, especially if you're going out. Ask your friend, ask, the, ask, ask your partner in crime that goes to event with you to highlight to you, are you portraying a body, a body language that is positive? This, I think a lot of people take it very lightly, especially the way they sit down, the way they talk, the way they cross their hand. Because most people, when they go to networking, they don't know how to put their hands. Let me tell you, if you don't know how to put your hands, what you do is, you just put it in the pocket nicely, or you can just do as a sign that you're talking. To me, because I use my hands a lot, because that is a way of me presenting myself. And if I'm not, I will hold it here. And it feels like it's very secure to do that. But everyone will have our own way of doing it. I'm not asking you to just model me, but I want you to know that the last thing you want is to show people that you don't like to talk to them. How often that you have people telling you, I thought that you are very, uh, uh, very proud one, or I thought that you are not welcoming me. In fact, why do they think this way? It's because they read it from the body language, yeah? So uh, we have Eric. Eric is one of my students. He said, I still remember very much on the topic of likable from Steve. I think it's very good. Now, um, yeah, Lydia is watching. Now we go into the next part. Third is body language. Fourth is what? Do you know how important is this? The fourth one is eye contact. Now the eye contact is everything you know. Eye is the window to the soul. In order for you to build relationship or make the other person like you or make the other person trust you or make the other person into bring you need to bring them to your world or you go into their world and I is a window to the soul there's a saying of this means it's very real but most of us right are not used to looking at each other eye to eye why I always ask this question most people will say I'm shy uh, I don't know where to see I feel that I'm imposing. No, you're not imposing. In fact, eye to eye is so hard is because it's so personal. And suddenly you find that you get so 
real, so connected, and you feel these kind of connections. But in fact, you don't need to feel. This is a strength. Because the moment you can meet eye to eye, you somehow make the other person feel that they already know you quite well. In fact, the eye to eye has no issue. It's just that a person attention or span is a big issue. You know what the attention or span goes to? Not to other people, it's to their phone. Most people, they will, when they talk to you, they will check their phone. If you want to do presentation or sales strategy, or, or do sales presentation or convincing somebody, if the other person is not looking you eye to eye, you can forget about doing it because you cannot connect. I, if I ever do that, I will ask, oh, is there something, is a message that you're checking? Or if not, then probably uh, we can discuss a little bit more from here. And I will always do my best to have his eyes looking at my eyes. That's why sometimes I do a lot of hand gesture. That's why you also look good because when you do sales presentation, people like to look at you. So when people like to look at you, their eye is on you. So all these elements help you to anchor the position. Now, before I go into the next point, can I trouble you all to like, comment, and share with public? Because it's very important for me, right? Because I take my time every week to do this. I hope as many people as possible will be benefited from what I'm sharing. So let us be big heart and kind and do it so that more people will learn the art of flexibility and it does us well. The kindness is where we need more in the society. If everyone is likable, in the business world, it's very smooth one. Don't you all agree? So can I trouble you all to please like, comment and share in public so that more people are able to benefit from this topic, yeah? So we have covered smile, we have covered energy. Number two, we have covered body language, eye contact. Now, let me tell you the fifth one. The fifth one is very interesting because there is one element in us, okay, that you cannot avoid one. You know what element is that? Self-centered. You know why? Every one of us are self-centered. No matter what, we only take care of ourselves first. Now, this is the failure of relationship building. Because if you ever want to do relationship building, you are self-centered, do you think that it's possible to build up this relationship? No. Being likable is to manage yourself, uh, your self-centered. That's why in our environment, you will always hear me or Dati Wei Lu say this, have a big heart. Because have a big heart, you will lower down your self-centered. Because by lowering down the self-centered means you care about the other person more than yourself. And this is where sincerity comes in. How to show your sincerity? You must show the other person that you care for them. The choice of word will be different if you are big heart. The choice of word will be different if you are self-centered. And based on the choice of word, people can sense, people can know whether you are sincere or not. So in this case itself, how to override the self-centered? Learn how to be, have big heart, Learn how to share, learn how to help, learn how to give, learn how to do anything for other people. I know, some people will say, why if people take advantage of me? I, let me tell you a simple uh, rules of the game. When you help somebody, the universe will pay you in other forms. Even though when you help somebody, people take advantage of you, you already push it out to the universe you will also will get back that help that is needed. So if you buy this theory, you will remember that as long as you continue helping others, you will be blessed in abundance. I have been there, I have tried that, I have experienced that. Let me tell you, it works, and I hope you trust that it works too. On the sixth part, the sixth part, I was, I was doing some I would say this six is very important. It's also along the line of big heart, it's called empathy. Empathy is very lacking in the society, especially in the business society. Because why you are not empathy is because you are also self-centered. How can people know that you're empathy? Very easy. The words that you say, the actions that you do, will show whether you are empathy to the other person or not. Now, empathy has become the new currency in the business world. Why? Because I always say, the society needs no need more money and power. They need more kindness. 
And as long as you are working in the society, building a relationship or making people like you, you show that part of empathy, let me tell you, you will be more likable than the rest of other people. Now, don't simply do any action of empathy. Empathy action means what? Empathy action means you only empathize the thing that is needed to be empathized. Now, how do you do that? You will do that by profiling and getting to know the other person more. If not, you will be doing the wrong action or empathize. Because some, some things, no need to empathize. Certain things, so this is an art. So, I, I mean, I cannot share in a one hour Facebook Live. If you really like to learn from me how to do profiling and, and how to do uh, the wow relationship building, I have a workshop that is coming out on March 20 and March 21st uh, that you might want to find out more. You can actually PM me and uh, I can share with you more information. This, this workshop of mine is very interesting because I'm teaching people how to do profiling and how to build relationship building because every single people would need a different way of making um, making them your BFF, yeah? It's a very interesting topic. I love it so much. I love human behavior. I really hope that I can share with as many people as possible. Now, next, uh, let's go into the seventh part. I tell you, this one is I learned from Dr. Millie from the day one. I also learned it from the airline. You know, in the airline, you're not allowed to be proud. No matter how good you are. Because the moment you do that, you know what happened? Everyone start picking on you already. What is that? Is be humble. Be humble, easy to say, a lot of people sometimes forgot. That's why we cannot see ourselves, we need a check from other people. The things that we say, the thing we do, sometimes money, fame, power will kind of blinded you that you forgot the meaning of being humble. Most people will not tell you. You know what they will say? They will let the universe punish you accordingly. But in our case, if we want to learn, we always ask people that we trust to always check on us whether we are being humble at all times or not. This, I'm still working on myself. I'm not saying that I have to be humble 100%. Certain part, I feel that I also overdoing it. But I always tell the people on my side, including Dati, including Choi Ling, to always let me know if anything I do, overdoing it. Because, right, humility brings you to go a long, long way. Because likability is about humility also. You want people to help you, you want people to support you, you need to be humble. Nobody likes to help, nobody likes to like an ego person. You know? So in this case itself, I really hope that you will... It's very hard to say that you be humble. You need to be, all the actions that you do must also be humble. But how to do that? You get people to check on you, to keep, people, keep track on you whether you're doing that or not. Now that is the easiest way. Because sometimes when you think you're humble, you're not really that humble. So you get people to check on you, that is the best one, okay? So next, now we have recovered seven. Now my team will be writing, with, writing for you all the seven points. Now. Do you want me to share with you one bonus one or not? Because this bonus is very, very interesting and I really love to share because today's crowd is so amazing. Now, if you like me to share with you the bonus point, the bonus likability point, and this is the most important likable point, can you please click yes? Uh, uh, I mean, type yes. When you type yes, means I know that you like this point. Like, let us go through a little bit. Let us see, uh, you know, there are some yes going on, then I will have that mood, that energy out to share you the point number eight. How is it? Yes, okay, Agnes say yes, very good. Now, of, of course you know that at any point of time, there is a bit of lagging, so it takes a bit of my time to, to, to actually see all the messages. Darren say yes, uh, 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 Gemma say yes, very amazing. Now we have Chris, Chris is doing beauty line in, Bang, in Thailand. Uh, welcome you to the Facebook Live, hi. And Ernie say yes, amazing. Wow, Ernie, you are my top fan, oh. Congratulations. Now we have Ivy, we have Tony to say yes. Very amazing. Now, can I have also my 
Insta Live, someone to say yes if you'd like me to share with you more about uh, the bonus point number eight because the eight bonus points is very very important and I'd like to share you. Okay, so we have enough yes, let me do it. Now, let me tell you the eight one is the most important. Why? Because the moment you do the number eight, right, you have a continuously people will like you, continuous people will appreciate you, continuous people will keep on supporting you. So what is that? Let me tell you, the bonus key number eight is called gratitude. Now, please, as the journey of us going through our success or moving ourselves to the next level, we need support from all kind of people. We don't do it by ourselves. Right? Whether it's our parents, whether it's our mentor, whether it's also our supporter, clients, we are need to be gratitude. Even today we are alive, we also have to be gratitude that we are alive. By being gratitude, it's just doing it only? No. Sometimes you also need to share with people that already help you about gratitude. So that's why like for me, in my class or even myself, I always express my gratitude to who people that helped me along the way. I cannot be who I am unless the people have helped me these seven years to push me away. And also, I also gratitude that Singapore Airlines gave me my eight years experience to bring me to who I am today. I also gratitude that my parents bring me up and give me the education that's needed to bring me up to who I am today. Nobody is not important in your journey, including who? including the people that harm you, people that don't like you, people that destroy you, they also, you must gratitude, they are the one who teach you the obstacle in your life. If not because of them, you are not able to grow. Correct, no? So being gratitude is about being gratitude at every single thing in your life and you don't compare, you don't, you don't go and fight people you don't want, you always be in that zone of being blessed that at your point there, you're already more blessed than a lot of people out there. So in this case, my favorite key for likability is gratitude. Because the moment that you are gratitude, you express it out. Let's say for, for me, a lot of times when I express out gratitude, it's not because that I want to chat high or what. No, it's truly from my heart that is, I, I have to thank the person. If not without the person, I would never learn this wisdom. So in all my platform, I always say this, Dating Win Lu is the one that gave me a second chance on my life, especially in the business environment, because she taught me how to use personal branding, how to do networking in order to move myself to the other level. By hanging out with people better than you, you start to have different people supporting you, better people supporting you. Uh, you know, no matter how strong you are, you are in the wrong environment, you also cannot be successful. But if you're not strong, but you are surrounded by all the powerful and all the, all, all, all the people that is uh, rich, powerful and smart, automatically, you will be there also. Your surrounding override your own determinations. So you want more people to support you? You want more people to like you? Be gratitude. Don't forget who opened your door one. Always remember that because no matter what, your current door is not you open yourself. Now, if you want to find out more in depth into my gratitude uh, topic, that is covered in my first Facebook Live. You can actually go to my High Fire Asia page, scroll down, and you can see my Facebook Live on the topic of gratitude. When I, when I, when I feature that Facebook Live on gratitude, a lot of people don't understand why I do that. I purposely, on my first Facebook Live, I touch gratitude is because I know gratitude is everything. The more you gratitude in your life, the more you can be successful in life. Okay, so remember this, before we ask our guests, uh, uh, guests uh, the VIP guests to come out, please remember to like, comment, and share. Let's see who is there. Now, Bilal, Bilal, Ma, you 100% agree to it, very good. Uh, we have Nippon, we have Arisu. Arisu is my big fan also, he's now in uh, uh, Singapore. Uh, Nuro Hamza, uh, we got Hagen, hi. We have Evelyn, Evelyn is from Singapore. So she, I'm so blessed to get to know you. Amazing, because I always say this, you know, my environment is a little bit different. 
Uh, Joe my Envoy has a very lot of quality people, but we emphasize a lot on core value that is kindness, big heart. Because I feel that in the business world, no need to be so harsh. We need to be in the environment that everyone is positive, everyone is supporting each other. But you don't simply support everyone. You want to support people that has a co the same core value. So in my environment, we kind of profile and we qualify people a little bit. So you can safely say that if you join me in my event or join my form, you will meet all the like-minded people if you are positive, if you are kind heart, and if you are big heart. Okay, we have Nippon. Nippon is also one of our high flyer awardees. Hi Nippon. Hi Penny. Thank you for supporting. Now we have Zion in the uh, uh, Instagram live. Hi, you know what? I just met Jennifer and thank you for introducing me to Jennifer. And uh, we are going to do amazing things together. So that's why, like Zion, even though you don't attend my head, but your introductions, you already is also someone that I need to be grateful. Without you, I would not know Jennifer. Yeah? Okay, that's all. Now we are at here. Are you all excited to see who is this Rarissa here? Let me tell you, she is an expert in floor furnishing. Not only that, in this high flyer Asia office, all the flooring is done by her. Don't, don't, don't underestimate flooring. The flooring is wrong, uh, the whole feel of the office is different right now. Because I learned so much when I do, uh, do up this office. And the discover flooring, uh, the way you choose flooring also have a lot, a lot of uh, uh, tricks. Uh. I shall not tell you more. I will wait for her to tell you yourself what is all this about. Now, can all of us give a like to welcome Rarissa Sia? Yay! Give a like faster. Say hi. Say hi. Come. Yay! Hi. Now, it's her first time doing Facebook Live. We shall give her a very warm welcome. How? Just like, comment, and share it to the public so that more people will see the awesome person behind this flooring. Now, Rarissa, can you share with the audience a little bit, a little bit about you? Come, don't be shy. Come, <laughs> this is just like friend chatting only. Come. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Come this way. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. See you. See you. Sure. Okay. Hi, everyone. Okay. Uh, basically, my company is Mouse Creation. We provide flooring furnishing solution. Okay, to commercial, corporates, and also residential. So. Um, we also provide the, uh, I mean like the mainstream as are also our client, of course the HFA High Fire Asia. Asia is also a client, yeah? Correct, mm. correct, that's what you will see later on the floor, alright? Okay, good, so you are doing floor furnishing, right? Yes. Okay, let us uh, support you a little bit. Now, can you tell me what are the three important elements to choose flooring? Wow, three mm. elements, eh? yeah. of course, the colour. Colour? So the color must match the whole branding, isn't it? Yes, definitely. Sometimes you, you remember the early days, you kind of bring a lot of sample for me to Correct. test. Now, and then what other elements is needed? Okay, you need to see basically where is the, is there a, a, a sunlight in there? In right. The window? Okay, so the important means, right, don't just uh, see the flooring based on one lighting. Example, because this Daylight, this carpet, if let's say it's daylight, night light, got sun, no sun, it all look different. Let the me tell you. Effect, the, lighting the lighting effect, effect yeah. So I tell you it's very very important. This also I learned. That's why uh, we took quite a long time to decide what is the best uh, flooring for my office. How about the third one? The third one is actually the texture. Texture, okay. The texture is very important. If you want the texture like macham yes and not so expensive, you find her. <laughs> you want the texture that is also expensive, also find her. She can have everything for you, right? Now the importance definitely is texture because you want to feel good. Sometimes we why? Because you have carpet, you what? You sit down, you want to feel good. You well, stand up, you want to feel when good. When you step on yeah. it, you want to feel different. Right? And also easy to wash. Because why? Because sometimes it's maintenance why it must yeah. be practical. Yeah. But not only what I add on another four elements, price. <laughs> now if let's say you are very very well to do, price is not an issue, she can help you. If price issue, she also can help you. Eh? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> now let us go into the point. I think a lot of people would like to find out what is your perspective of likability? My perspective based it's actually approachable, okay? Approachable, friendly, and also accountable um, to associate with the society. See, now she said approachable, friendly, friendly, 
accountable, accountable. to no. associate. associate. So you see, likability is all got to do with human interactions. Now, these three things is what another person like to see. But you know what it's got to do with human behavior? They like people to be accountable. Yep. They like people to be approachable. Correct. They like people to be friendly. Yes. But you know, most of them are self-centered. They like people to do it, but they own self don't like to do it. <laughs> Correct? Correct. So why? I always say this. The reason we are self-centered is also why? Because our eyes are look outside, we don't look inside. So most of the time we know how to talk, say people, but we don't know how to say ourselves. So that's why we need other people to do a check on us. Yep. Whether are we friendly or not? Correct. Are we approachable or not? Yes. Are we accountable or not? You know why? Because if you are like that, you will attract the people that is also like that. Definitely. Fair? Fair. Fair, right? That's why you say you're positive, you attract the positive. If you want to be have this kind of element in the other person, you yourself also need to have that. And you rest assured, everything will be small, smoothly because birds of the same feather flock together. Yeah. You manifest the, th the people that you want. You manifest the core value that you want. Correct. Yeah? Correct. Okay, very good. Now, the third question I'll ask you, how do you apply your likability in your business? Maybe share with us one or two. How do you apply likability in your business? Uh, okay, usually I would smile and also, of course, greet, greet with a smile, you know. Especially when you're introducing yourself mm. and also your company. Okay, so why? Like just now we say, like passion, energy. Smile is energy, you know? Like you, if when you introduce, Hi, my name is Steve Wee from High Fly Asia. Or, uh, I'm Steve Wee from High Fly Asia. Or a lot of difference, you know? A lot. One a is lot. the effort, one is no effort. Effort is also fire. So I think all these things, right, can be measured. But it's just that sometimes you're not very mindful. No one is measuring for you. And you don't know what level is that. Correct. So you always need a mentor or partner in crime that knows how to do it to do a check on you. Correct. Why? Because you wouldn't know why other people don't like you. Correct? The only way to do this is to get checked from other people. When people check on you, you do your best to push your likability as high as possible. Correct? True. Okay, what is the, the fourth question is this. Any tips to share on your version of likability? Smile with confidence. S confidence, right? You say this. Smile, uh, a lot of, a lot of smile, uh, a lot of different smile. Uh. But smile with confidence uh, is very important. Because, right, you smile with no confidence, uh, people also don't buy you. Uh. Correct. Because confidence <laughs> is what? Confidence is also energy. Right? Because confidence is so important because she put on a way, smile with confidence. A lot of people smile, right? You go to the some time you go to the restaurant, right? a lot of waiters also smile. Right? But you know the smile is not a real smile. Right? Oh yeah. So sincerity, uh, and, uh, confidence, all these play a role into doing this. Correct? So definitely we have Dati Milu on board. Oh let us say hi to Dati Milu. Thank you for hi, watching Dati. this. Thank yeah? You. Okay, so now before we go into um, how we can contact you. Do you want to do this exercise with me? Now this exercise goes like that. How, how many of you want to do a self-assessment exercise? Now this self-assessment exercise is, goes like that. I will share with you 10, 10 questions. If you, if you have passed, if you do this in your life, it means you earn one credit. So these 10 st questions, right? 10, 10 statements, right? If you have eight or more, means you are very likable. <laughs> if you five, you only have five to eight of it, you are normal likable. If you have five and below, you know what you need to do? Please sign up for my class. I think you needed it a lot, yeah? Okay, so let us go through. Because you are here, then we go through, see whether it makes sense or not, right? Now, the first one is, don't worry about copying because my team will be right, will be writing, will be uh, posting all the 10 statements onto the comment form so you can see. Hi Dutin, hi Winnie. Hi Winnie. So, yeah, so amazing. You're so busy, you'll still be on board. Definitely, we need to give you a credit for that. Now, the first thing, the first thing how you check whether you're likable or not is this. I'm an optimist. I look for good in people and situation rather than negative. The first one goes like that. It means uh, 
no matter what people you see, no matter what environment, you only see the good thing. If you are doing that on a daily basis, you have one point. Okay? Good. Have you done? So, so we have the, the first one on, uh, on the comment, you can see that. Number two, I'm a generally positive and avoid complaining about people, things and situations. Do you know I'm very, very, very sensitive to what, no? When I sit down in the conversation, people start gossiping other people. <laughs> or people start talking negative about other people, I will go away one. Why? Because if you can do that, you can do on me. True. Right? Yep. So in this case, if you are generally positive and you don't complain about things, you add another point to you. Fair? Fair. So these two, right? The first one is you are optimist. It means you only see good things in other people or good things in any situation, including our virus situation or politics situation, you still see good things. Then you add one point. The second one is you're positive and you avoid complaining about anything else. So it means no complaint in your life. No complaint at all. You add another point. Okay, two already, eh? Number three, I show a genuine interest in other people I compliment them on their success. Compliment. Especially on their success. Yeah. Do you know right? I don't know what's happening in the business world, no? A lot of people uh, when they see other people's success, uh, they get very, very angry. Uh, <laughs> and they don't like people to be successful. Uh. They do their best uh, to pull the other person down. I don't understand. Yeah. To me, if you want to be successful, you must be proud to other people's achievement. Do you know like for me, because I came to the business world very late, so a lot of things like a lot of award or what, I already passed the age. I cannot do the young, emerging entrepreneur what. But you know what? I start grooming a lot of people under me. When people I groom got this award, I feel that I also want to win this award. Because a part of the success is because of me. That's for sure. Right? So in this case itself, always, Compliment people if they are successful. Compliment people if they are pretty. Compliment people if they do achievement in life. Why is so hard about that, right? It's not hard. Now, you know, this one is you add on the highest likability into your life. Correct? Correct. Fair? Fair. So number four, I smile. It's so simple. <laughs> if you smile, you add on one more bonus point for you. So you have four if you have all these four. Number five, I have an easy sense of humor. I can laugh at myself. I tell you, this one, uh, I, I learned it from trailing also, <laughs> including a lot of people. <laughs> Do you know, right? Don't be too harsh on yourself. And a lot of people like to see that you are Sunshine. easy to connect with. Why, why, I mean, we are work in progress, right? Is it okay to make mistake in life? Just make mistake, even like, when I give in the Facebook lesson, I make mistake, I just laugh at it, you know? Right? Because the moment you know how to laugh at yourself means you're so comfortable with yourself and that is a point that you get for being likable. Yeah? Okay, now the sixth, uh, that is number five. The sixth one is you, are, you, you can walk in other people's shoes to better understand that perspective. It's almost similar to empathize. It means, right, at any point of time, you know how to put yourself in the other person's shoes. If you can do that on a daily basis, you add a point to you. But that, that, that kind of characteristic, it doesn't apply only to your clients or people that is important. It includes who, no? It includes the cleaner in the house, right? Because sometimes, right, when the cleaner is like mopping the floor and you accidentally, right, uh, 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 you fall down or sleep, you cannot blame the cleaner. Because the cleaner is cleaning your house. You have to blame yourself if you're not careful enough. So this is what we mean that you have to walk in other people's shoes. You better understand the whole perspective. You're less angry with the situations. And then you earn yourself one likability point. Yeah? Now, and uh, seven. Now this seven, you have to hear properly. It's called, I truly listen to others. Is there a difference between I'm hearing and or I'm listening? Listening is all. Got right? Hear means I just hear. Listening means I put 
all my heart to listen what you really say. Correct. In the current world, because it's so noisy, most people are not listening. They are just, mm -hmm. but you ask them, what do you say? They cannot say back. So people will have known that it's not sincere. That's why in the seventh part, the seventh, the seventh sentence is, I truly listen to others. If you are truly listen to others and you do it on a daily basis, you earn yourself one likability point. Yeah? Are you excited? Okay, man. so far, makes sense, right? Makes sense. Okay, makes sense. number eight. Number eight is like, I help other people cheerfully. I tell you, you want to help others, you help other people happily. La. You want to work, you work happily. La. You want to do things, you do happily. La. Some people, uh, when they want to help, uh, they help, uh, but not happy. Uh. How can? <laughs> if you, then you better don't help. La. In this case itself, if you help others cheerfully, happily, you earn yourself a likability point. Now, number nine. I have high integrity and trust easily. Now, when I say this, uh, this point, a lot of people will say, how can we trust people in this business world? Now, can I say this? At the end of the day, right? For this um, trust, can I do that? I will give you 100% trust. Unless you break it, then I have doubt in you. So the benefit of the doubt is unless you have done something or you've done something that make me don't trust you, if you never do that, I have to give my full 100% trust on you. Why? Because this is human behavior. When we are starting to trust others, we use our case study with other people right. to judge you. True. Fair? Yeah. It's a human, right? We always use, oh, you know, uh, last time uh, the real estate also, agent also very bad one. Then this real estate agent must be bad. I'm just saying, uh, right? But it's not true. Do not use your past experience so much to judge that person. Yes, you use your past experience to make you wiser to analyze this, but we are talking about trust. Trust means give the person benefit of the trust, be benefit of the doubt. Unless the person makes a mistake, do not. Do not ever don't trust that person. Mm. So that is where I happened in the early days when I partnered with Dr. Winnie Lu. She has big trust in me. Yes, she may not know me who I am. Mm -hmm. She's I'm still proving myself that I am a real thing and things like that. I know there's a lot of scammer a lot, but all I need is you give me chance for me to earn the trust from you. All, right. all I so need is that period of time for me to earn the trust. So if you want people to trust you, please learn how to trust others. Fair? Okay. So that is number nine. If you trust easily and you have integrity, you add a likability point. Number 10. If you are grateful with what you have, you earn the last point of likability. Okay, summarize all this. If you have more eight and above, you are very likable. Five to eight, you are normal likable. Five and below, please come to my class. So how many you have, Larissa? Almost all! Amazing! That's why you are a member of High Fly Asia and I'm so proud of you. Can you tell the audience we are at the end of our Facebook Live? It's so exciting. Let me tell you very fast one. One hour, you thought that it's, uh, talk, 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 it's already one hour and then we're so amazing. Now, can add can you, something? Yes, you add something, come. I would like to add something basically. Uh, mm. I would like to say a uh, smile uh, is a curve that sets everything straight. So, very nice! <laughs> well, just summarize it for me, my face. Right? A smile is a curve. That makes everything straight. straight. Amazing, right? So it's, see, all these statements are there for a reason. Now, can you share with the audience how can they contact you if they want to get your advice on their f office or their home flooring uh, furnishing? Okay, you may contact me at... Uh, I that. So, uh, my team will be putting on. Can you just say yeah. it out? So mm -hmm. they will type it there. Yeah, sure. You can look for me and contact me in Tri Damansara, mm. which is uh, located Tri in Damansara Dalimsara. is the old Tropicana uh, city, mall. City, city mall. So uh, her showroom is there. Level which floor? Two? Level, Level 2. two. Okay. Just next to uh, 
DIY. Very good. And it's called Mars Creation, Mars right? Creation. Very amazing. You have a lot of display of amazing stuff there. Actually, you can know the place by going to Kingdom Palace restaurant. Oh, Kingdom Palace. <laughs> if you go Kingdom Palace, you'll find her, uh, her showroom. Yeah. You go DIY, you can find the showroom. Yeah. If you don't know, you just go, also can find the showroom, okay? <laughs> now, we also have a contact the number there. Most showroom in 3 Damansara. Definitely. And uh, we have Nuro Hamza from Singapore. I will see you in my next life. Definitely, I will love. Please share with more Singaporeans that they, that that uh, that we are doing this. Doesn't matter where you are, likability applies globally. It doesn't matter where you are, you are being likable. More people will support you. And that's it. We have Rarissa. We have me, Steve Wee. I hope you join us uh, next week, same time, next Wednesday, nine o'clock. Next Wednesday, what we are talking about? We are talking about branding. What branding? Branding is very important and it covers all levels of branding that I'm going to talk about. Example, corporate branding, personal branding, office branding, individual branding, watch branding, all kinds of branding. Because every element helps to contribute the branding success to your life. So that we will cover. And who is our guest? Uh, guest VIP, there are none other than Tony Yeo. So Tony Yeo in the house. If you're Tony Yeo in the house, say hi, because Tony will be my guest speaker for next Wednesday, nine o'clock. Uh, same time next week. Bye-bye. I hope you enjoy these sessions. Remember this, be likable. It will bring you to many success of life. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. You're so long. You're so long. You're so long.